Hey guys, my name is Hetu and uh, welcome uh, welcome back to ETLQL apps. So in this session we will look at uh, DQL. DQL stands for Data Query Language. And uh, so let's see the agenda what what we uh, we wanted to cover as part of this session. The quick recap of the previous sessions, all the commands that we have learned so far as part of SQL. Then we will look at uh, DQL. And within the DQL, we will say that how do we select all the records, all the fields, and uh, we will also see that how do we find the selected columns, how do we fetch it, and uh, what if we want to find one few records only. We don't want to find all the rows, right? So guys, I will be using rows and records. Just understand that these are the very same thing, okay? So when I say rows and records, these are nothing but, you know, uh, it's, a, it's the same thing, all right? So let's quickly jump uh, to the you know what what all the things that we want to cover as part of recap session, right? So within recap, you know what we have learned so far is uh, we have learned uh, DDL data definition language. Within the DDL, we have covered create, alter, drop, truncate command for different commands, and those are very detailed. And even for alter command, I have. Um, I have uh, created a separate video, so please go and watch that. And uh, DML command. Uh, so, what is the data definition language? Uh, uh, so, data definition language basically we want to create the table, right? So, it basically all the commands deals on the structure of the table. Okay. So, these all DDL commands uh, are used uh, for uh, for you know manipulation of are basically you know. Uh, the taking care of the structure of the table itself right i have given example of house right so uh, just go and watch it and dml basically once your structure is ready means your table is ready then we would like to insert the data inside it right so that is nothing but dml and data manipulation language and uh, we have covered insert update delete as part of that and then we have also covered DCL, data control language, and we have covered grant and revoke. Basically, they are related to permissioning, right? So if uh, there is some permission granted for some of the tables, whether you are actually having the permission to insert the data in the table or only to fetch the data, or you also have permission to, you know, um, uh, or, you know perform some uh, alteration on the table, etc., as part of DDL statement, right? And revoke is basically taking out that permission which is granted okay and then we have also covered the tcl tcl is transaction control language and uh, within tcl we have covered commit rollback and save point these are related to the transaction control right so controlling your transaction for example every DD dml commands need to have this uh, transaction control language usage right so specifically commit or rollback so dml basically does not uh, you know uh, does the auto commit on the databases until you specifically go and say commit statement run the commit statement it will not do anything right and uh, the rollback is basically if you have done something mistakenly you have inserted updated or deleted something you can always go back and run the rollback command it will bring uh, the table structure to the original point before it was you know uh, altered or it was even before the ddl statement was run right dml statement was run sorry and then save point is basically to saving uh, the if we have the huge or many number of lines of code and then probably uh, just to save our uh, data we would like to run multiple points uh, the save point right and that's where if you need to go back to original point you can just um, i mean you can use the save point and then if you roll back uh, that particular save point it will actually roll back the data until that particular save point it will not roll back the entire set of code or entire transaction okay so that is the use of uh, save point guys so this is what quickly i covered and uh, to know more and more i think it is very important you go go back and watch the whole tutorial i think uh, i have nicely covered each and every details just to assume that you are a very beginner or you do not have enough uh, knowledge about SQL, right? And it is also very useful for the people who are experienced also because I have also covered the question answer and tricky questions or interview questions also, right? So it is beneficial for both freshers and uh, people who want to learn or it is also good for students, right? Who want to uh, learn the DBMS, etc. Okay. 
all right guys so let's uh, jump on to the today's agenda and then we are going to cover today as part of that um, uh, language uh, the last language that is called the dql that is uh, data query language and uh, this is all the we have only one uh, command within that that is the select command okay so if you look the rest of all this ddl dml dql dcl uh, dcl this tt tcl all these four are having at least two right if you see here at least two commands but in dql is the only command which is having only select statement all right and which is very important right so most of the questions you know will be based on uh, uh, sql only if you are going for uh, something like testing position or maybe uh, you know uh, data warehousing engineer etc because you need to actually fetch the data more often right so you need to know that and there are a lot of constraints and uh, various uh, uh, you know uh, various uh, clauses are there that will cover one by one but uh, part of this session i just want to introduce you uh, the dql command okay so guys uh, what we do is this is very simple i think i have been using um, in my entire uh, you know series uh, some or other places just to fetch the data so select statement or dql command is used to get or fetch the data from the table if you have select you have uh, stored the data means first of all you have to ins uh, create the table then insert the data in the table right as part of dml so creating the table as part of ddl then inserting the data inside the table dml then probably um, then what you can do is after that you can use the select command to fetch the data right so what we will see is we will see uh, some basic things how do we select it and uh, you know what all the things that we can do all right so first thing that we will see is the how do we select all the rows and all the columns from a table right so let's go back to the sql prompt okay so i already have a table guys uh, select star from E employee okay employee sorry I think something wrong double P is there all right guys you see that there are 15 rows selected it is saying 15 rows selected and how many columns are there one two three four five six seven eight eight columns are there and these are the everything that is there in this table so we have 15 rows and eight columns that's all we have in this table if you'd like to check it how do we check it we can always go and say desc description which will show you the schema of this particular table right so you see this it is saying that one two three four five six seven eight eight columns and these are the data type right so this is how we can see the schema of a table like uh, what is the size and what is the data type of each of the column right so so this is how you can if you want to find if you want to fetch everything from the table then you have to select star from employee but um, you know i mean um, this will only work uh, you know it will work with a huge amount of data also but this is uh, the very basic command right select star from employee this is the very there is no constant applied it is just that you know i am just fetching the data as it is in in the, from the table okay now the second set of command uh, can be the second one um, as part of this if you see fetch only selected columns right so when i say selected columns i just want to let's say i'm not interested to get all this you know fetch all this information i'm just interested to know that employee number and what is their salary maybe i am from a char person right so i just want to see that okay so what i can do is i just want to say select I have to specifically write the name of that particular column EMP number then comma which one which else a salary okay so guys we have to write like this so whichever columns you are writing uh, you want you are interested to display you have to write that column separated by a comma all right if I want to let's say I want these two column only and then remaining syntax will be same so from employee okay select employee emp name comma salary from employee before that instead of uh, that star we are writing here only two columns when i say star means all the columns when i say only two columns then it will give you only two columns so let's see guys 
okay you saw that so we have the employee number and salary only selected remaining information is not coming here but you see the row numbers are still the same right so because we are not actually filtering anything we want all the rows all right so this is how it is so we want to we got how do we select the how do we select uh, you know um, individual uh, columns all right are the fields so guys column and fields both are uh, interchangeably used so i will sometime use attribute column or field those are the same okay and when i say rows and records those are also same okay so rows are you know that right so rows are like this yeah one record complete record so for example in this case this is one row right complete this row second guys one second I'll just use my mouse to point it out so it will be easier for you okay so guys when I say rows so this is the complete row correct this is complete row for this five this is the complete row and when I say the fields are attribute are column which means but uh, means uh, uh, vertical right vertical and rows are horizontal like this okay vertical is columns fields are rows uh, sorry column fields are attributes okay okay guys so what we have seen is we have also looked at uh, how do we select the two columns right now what i want to do is i want to find out all the records okay all the columns basically all the columns but i don't want all the record i want only information related to employee number maybe employee number 10 okay based on employee number i will search okay so let's say how, what i will do select star because i want all the columns so star from employee okay and then guys uh, i just want only for employee number 10 right so what i have to do is i have to use one clause that is called where clause okay so this is very standard clause so in interview they might ask is what is the use of where clause so you can simply say that uh, where clause is used to filter the rows or records based on certain condition right so when i say emp number where emp number equal to 10 okay what does it mean select star from employee which means select all the columns from employee which means all the columns will be there which from employee where employee number equal to 10 which means for this particular employee number 10 we want all the columns so it will be like one record every column will be there but it will come like this okay so you see guys right so for employee number 10 we are getting all the rows all the record all the columns right you see guys okay so this is how you can actually find out if you want to just fetch the selected rows based on certain condition here i can also use based on uh, i can also use this instead of equal to i can also say that you know uh, this operators right greater than less than so let's say i want to say that whoever salary is more than 20000 okay i want all the employees details whose salary is more than 20000 guys okay so these are the all employee whose salary is more than 20,000 see their salary is always more than 20,000 so this is like you know you can use the greater than operator that is used in mathematics when I say less than 20,000 it will give you also less these are the you see that these are the less than so those only records are selected guys okay now uh, there might be cases when I would like to select two employees okay at three employees maybe and I know that this employees uh, their employee uh, number already right so what I will do I will say EMP number and then instead of equal to when I say equal to right it will only give you one record okay I cannot say equal to and one and uh, maybe one something like that I cannot say because this is not the right way of doing it so instead of equal to when I say equal to it will take only one value okay but if I want multiple value to be passed in then I have to say in condition in is also like uh, or condition okay so this or that 
so I will say let's say six also I want so you see guys I got I have used the in condition which means actually I am providing a set of values set of employee numbers and all the set of employee number in the bracket and this um, this query will search or fetch uh, the the all the columns means star for this particular employees right so this is how you can so if you want to fetch uh, you know more the employees details for multiple employee numbers then you can do it similarly if you want to do it for multiple department number then also you have to just put uh, here department number dpt number in and then you put the department number separated by this right guys other thing is it will also work if you are giving only one right this will also work but uh, this is not recommended because you already have equal to operator right but you can also use it see so it doesn't matter so if you are giving more than one value or one value it will also work here Alright, so this is what uh, I wanted to cover as part of this session guys. So I think um, let's start. I think we have started uh, good now and uh, I will try to cover each and every possible things and also I will try to cover uh, the interview questions also right when we reach to the topic and uh, uh, I will cover those uh, interview questions, important questions. So throughout my tutorial, I think you will find all the interview questions wherever I have covered, right? So please go and watch all those tutorials that I have created. I think I have created it based on, I assume that you don't know anything about SQL and then I have created those, right? So, and also you, how much ever you practice, right? That will uh, ensure that your, uh, you know, knowledge is increasing. Alright guys, so this is what I wanted to cover and uh, thank you, thank you for watching and please uh, subscribe my channel and, uh, and uh, like and share and comments. Also share uh, the, you know, uh, these videos to your friends whom you think that they also need it. So as I said that these videos are very basic to advance. Alright, so everything, this, this, this is the right mix of, uh, right balance, right? Uh, so you can... Um, anyone can even experienced people can uh, just uh, watch it and they will get some or other things in this video right so thank you guys thank you for watching and uh, see you next time with the next video see you soon and until then happy learning bye